Let's try this again. Gaga, you're busting my balls now. You're just literally busting my balls, Gaga. This guy's just taking, you know, pot shots at you now. What is going on, everybody? Welcome to Full the King. I'm your host, the bird known as Falcon. This right here is an awesome, beautiful, albeit tough as nails, roguelike tabletop game. I'm gonna give you a little bit of example here. I took this out for a spin to get accustomed to it, but those three runs, oh my god, the game just tossed me to the floor, drug me through the mud, it even spit on me a couple of times here, and for all of you sickles getting off on that, stop it, okay? Uh, I should note as well, before we actually get into the game, let me go to the lore store really quickly. Now, what's really cool about this game is that it's kind of geared towards multiple playthroughs. You will die a lot, but every single time you die, you learn more and more, and you pick up these things up here called lore points. Which you come to the lore store, and what you will be able to do with these points after a while is you'll be able to unlock different classes to start the game off with. You'll be able to unlock new items at the stores and also um, as quest rewards. You'll be able to unlock encounters with different type of NPCs and also new locations altogether. So every time you play and you unlock more stuff, the adventure does become different, so it's actually kind of cool in that regard. Alright, so we're going to go into new adventure mode now, and again, we'll go into normal mode. Now keep in mind, normal is not really a uh, standard difficulty I would actually advise you to start off with. If you are starting new, I would definitely suggest easy because this game is indeed quite difficult. So easy will actually give you a more of a learning experience, albeit still pretty difficult as well. Now what's really cool about this, the story of the game essentially is that the king was actually assassinated, and so were most of the soldiers, the warriors of the king. So what's happening now is that the queen is actually calling at arms every civilian imaginable. So here you're not a super powerful warrior. You're literally just civilian. So as you can see over here, we have the blacksmith, we have a minstrel, and we have a scholar. I believe we also have access to the archer, if I'm right. The hunter. So uh, let's also go ahead and give these people a couple of names. So I'm going to call you, you could be... Lady Gaga? I'm gonna call you Miley Cyrus. That's gonna be you. We have Lady Gaga, Miley Cyrus, and over here we have our Scholar. Our Scholar will definitely be... Ludacris. Okay. Um, over here you could definitely pause and read the story if you want to, but I kind of gave you a quick rundown already. The King was assassinated. The people left over are just now civilians, and essentially the Queen is calling everybody that's able-bodied to pick up arms and hopefully try to bring down this um, tyranny against the King over here. Seek out Hildebrand in Woodsmoke. You will be told how to best aid our efforts. Once you receive your quest, you must complete it within 14 rounds, otherwise our kingdom will be consumed by chaos. Okay. So we want to come over here. Now every, every time you play the game, you'll have a different objective to start off with. Ultimately though, the goal is going to be... Well, I'll talk more about this here pretty soon. Right now what's happening is we're rolling the dice with Ludacris. As you can see over here, these are positive ones, meaning we actually have five moves for this turn. Every single time you take a round, you will roll the dice, and sometimes you'll be able to move one, two, three, four, five, whatever your maximum roll capacity is going to be. But luckily for us, with Ludacris, we'll have five rolls because we actually succeeded all of these right here. So um, that's a bit of a rundown for that. I'll try to, like, you know, break it down for we as we go along over here, but just keep in mind, I also want to show a lot more of the gameplay. So I might, like, have to do, like, two videos on this. This is still not, like, a series just yet, but if you guys enjoy it, let me know, and I might keep it around for a while. So here we're at the... The city that we start off with the town, I guess. We don't really have... I mean, we have some money, but really nothing really too extravagant. So, for now, we just leave. So, let's see here. Um, with our boy Ludacris, I see a crow over here. Now, if I select this crow, you see these little red tiles, right? What this means for us is that anybody in those red tiles will be available for this fight. Meaning, what's good for us is that we'll have our blacksmith and our minstrel for this fight. But I do believe that this fella right here might also get involved as well if he pleases. So... Let me run over here really quickly, and let me show you what's going to happen over here. We have a chance to ambush. If we decide to ambush, what this will do is it'll kind of isolate the enemy for us. However, we have to roll for it. So if we get, like, say, three positives, we'll have a success. Two or less, we fail, and we have to do the fight as it normally would be. Now, you could actually kind of skew the effort, or at least the outcome of the roll, by using some focus points down here. So if I wanted to... I could be like, bam, 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 three times because we have four of them. And I could succeed over here and just ambushing this um, crow by itself. But honestly, for me, the crow isn't really too difficult early on. So I'm going to go ahead and just do a fight and save my focus for down the line. So let's get into this fight over here. And the beast man did indeed get involved. Luckily, our minstrel dodged right there right off the bat. The fights will be turn-based, albeit very roll dicey as well. So here's our first turn. We're going to be going with Miley Cyrus the Minstrel here for the first one around. As you can see, the Dire Crows have 6 um, HP. They're at level 0. Everybody starts off at level 0, even us. 
And then the Beastman's also level 0, he's got 12 points, he's got no defenses, nobody here has any defenses, we'll talk more about those. If the enemies have any defenses, they'll show up as um, this armor down here. So these are our current defenses at the moment in terms of our armor, resistance, and also evasion stat. So with the Dire Crow, assuming I get my max damage over here, I could get a one-hit knockout. Now for that, I could maybe try to, you know, use a focus, but again, I'm not too worried about them, so I'm gonna try to save my focus for further battles down the line. We lucked out! One hit kill, perfect. Okay, what I think I might do, since the Beastman comes up after my Blacksmith, I could go after the Beastman and then hopefully with our Blacksmith get a knockout on the Beastman and just enable or disable him from the fight and just have to worry about the Crow afterwards. So, I'm gonna go actually go after Beastman over here. And he's got 12 HP. If I do 5, all we need is 7 for my Blacksmith. Let me go ahead and use a Focus Point over here. The reason why I'm doing this with the Scholar is because he has the ability to actually regenerate Focus every single turn. So I think he gets like 1. So let's see. Oh, good, good. We did the 5 max damage. Now, we have to do 7 damage to bring him down. Our Blacksmith is capable of 10. However, as you can see, we gotta roll 4 dice for this one here. I will go ahead and use one dice here, and hopefully... Oh, we got encouraged by the... No! I forgot to switch over to the Beastman! Oh, my, that's on me. That's on me. That's a, a total mistake on my part. Had we actually landed on him, we would have killed it. Now, you saw the Minstrel actually did an encourage thing, right? That's a passive skill from the Minstrel, and essentially it's going to guarantee that a roll turn actually goes positive for you. Had we gone after the Beastman, he would have been dead. And this guy wouldn't have struck, I think, Ludacris just now. And then it would have been dealing with the crow instead. So that's on me. That's my bad. You gotta make sure that you're also selecting the right people here at all times. So let's come over here and just try to finish this bad boy off. We should be fine now. We just gotta do four damage. Unfortunately, the Beastman is faster than my Blacksmith, so we have to guarantee we get this kill here with Miley Cyrus. So let me go over here and do a focus. Come on, Miley. Yeah, we got it. Okay, cool. Now, after this fight, we'll get some gold. We'll get some experience as well and possibly some items. Here we have the Carnival Ticket. I'm not sure what this is for just yet. Apparently it gives you access to the Dark Carnival. I'm gonna collect this with Miley for now. We also have a makeshift spear, which could be pretty useful for a blacksmith. It's a two-handed weapon, so I can't use a shield, unfortunately. I will collect this with Lady Gaga for now. I won't equip it. We'll see how this actually looks afterwards. Because at the moment we have a hammer and the shield. The shield gives an ability to not only block damage, but also taunt enemies. So we could actually gear the attacks towards the blacksmith, who is indeed the beefier of the party over here. So now that we did this, we still have a couple more moves left. If I wanted to, I could hit up the location we have to go just now. It's not really a bad idea to get that out of the way now. But as I mentioned, before you hit up the dungeon, you might want to use as many rounds as possible to level yourselves up here. So, that being said, let's open this up now and see exactly what happens here for us. Alrighty. Always good to see new faces join the quest. I am Hildebrand, the Queen's agent overseeing things in the Guardian Forest. Things are bad here. Really bad. All signs point to some evil folk hatching a plot underground. The deepest caves in the region are accessed through the glittering mines, but they've recently been sealed with dark magic. My sources have spotted a strange contraption here in the Guardian Forest. Go investigate it. I think it's our best lead. Now, before... Solve the cult device, right? And now, let's see, we have 8 gold. There's really not much we can do here. What I could do is go to the services and maybe rest up and get my HP back with him. Um, for 5 gold. I really don't think that's really too important at the moment, and I don't think I have enough gold to really shop at the moment, so let me look at the ton market. No, not really enough. So we do have to level up here. I, you definitely want to go into the dungeon with items, though. Keep that in mind. So, for now, I'm gonna bypass this and I'll just end my turn. There's also a quest board, which you could actually pick up different quests around the map, which will give you items and experience as well. This over here will give us access to the Pleasant Port. We could actually buy vessels for the ocean, and sometimes in the ocean you'll see, like, different type of enemies, different quests, and also different items and stuff like that, but you do need a vessel in order to get over there. It's something I haven't really messed around with myself, because normally, as I mentioned, I like to level myself up first before you start doing any sort of actual extracurricular activities here. So, for now, let me just jump over to... Well, let me go to Wood Smoke. I don't have enough money to buy anything, really. So, let's just end our turn as well. Although, before we do that, let me go to my inventory. We picked up a makeshift spear. This is gonna be a two-handed weapon. I can't use the, uh, the, the shield with this one. It gives us plus two to armor, however, and it gives us heavy thrust. Okay. And... Let's go to the town market. And let me actually sell that blacksmith hammer now. Not sure this is the best idea I've had, but I do need some gold here. This is going to cost um, two to sell. Eh. 
<laughs> We're not really costing me, but we'll get two gold out of that one. Okay, that's fine. And now we end our turn. And Miley Cyrus should be coming up now, and she got four movement because she failed one of the dice rolls over here. Okay. Now I'm gonna run over in this side. We haven't talked about the stats, by the way. Oh, and we have an ambush here. We have a dire crow. This is gonna be a one-on-one -on -one encounter. As you can see, we don't have any access to our party members for this one, so... One-on-one, -on -one, Miley Cyrus versus the crow. Luckily, we were able to block that one. Do you have enough for a one-hit kill? You definitely do. Um, do I want to use a focus point for that? Probably not. Should have done it. We would have won. Alright, four damage. What are you doing now, crow man? Oh, nice! Good dodge by Miley over here. As you can see, Miley does have an evasion of 15, so that's helping us out quite a bit. And this should be the kill right here. Easy fight. Very cool. Two gold, three experience, and what else do we get here? No items? Oh, I was hoping for maybe like an herb for us to heal over time, but none, none of that. We also have a couple of tents we could actually use to heal up ourselves. Everyone has one, and we could all actually gather up in one single tent. So we have three group heals stored up just in case. Um, I guess I'll move over here, and that'll be it. Oh, we got Inspire, which is a random passive skill by the Minstrel, and that gave me three experience to, I believe, Ludicrous if I'm right. So it's now Ludicrous's turn. Um, speaking of the stats over here, Everything that we're doing is based on these bad boys over here. We have toughness, we have vitality, fortitude, awareness, and all of them will be like, you know, for evasion, for how quick you actually attack, how much HP you have, etc, etc. And you can like, you know, actually encourage these items or these numbers by equipping different equipment over time as well. Okay, so here at the moment we do have... Four, right? I'm gonna go with Ludacris for this one because as I mentioned, he does have the ability to refocus, which will give us more points back. And for the cult device... In order for us to unlock the next part of this quest, we have to succeed over here, which requires three successes. So what I could do right now is actually use two points and hope that we get at least one positive roll so we can avoid damage and succeed with this one here. So let me go and do two, and I just gotta get one. Oh, we got it. Success. Perfect. And we got the Book of Lore. A rare manuscript of Far Rule storied history can be used to unlock secrets throughout the land. And we got six experience. Great work. Don't think twice about leaving their junk in my forest. Looks like those purple robe folk didn't appreciate us breaking their big toy. I'd say it's time we formally introduce ourselves. Best prepare for a good fight. And that's going to be definitely a tougher fight. If I'm right, this one's going to be like a, a cult leader and two of his little minions. So for this one, I do believe you might want to start leveling up here a little bit before you actually get into that. If I fight this wolf down here, we'll get everybody... Involve, and we might also even drag this Beastman Warrior into the fight. Uh, I think it's worth it though for the experience. Let's come over here to this Timberwolf. And we'll just go into a regular fight straight up. Oh, we didn't drag the Beastman. Perfect. Seven damage to Miley. Not too happy about that. Alright, so you have nine. Luckily for me, no resistances whatsoever. So. Well, we'll get like maybe three. Eh, it's just fine. Fill it shit up with Alto, maybe? There it is. That should be a knockout. Perfect. So we need to be more experienced for us right now. I'm really hoping for... Uh, what are you? This will boost experience. Uh, you know what? Why not? Let's start leveling my people up here. If we can, let's go after... Maybe Miley. She's the one, like, a bit more squishy, so she could definitely um, take advantage of the extra easy experience here. Um, and we do have one more run here with Lady Gaga still. I'm gonna move back here for now, and that'll be it. So it's back to Miley. We got four moves. Can I get over there in one round? Oh, no. Absolutely not. We can just come over here for now. So I'm gonna come down this way. There's also another town over here, it does see. We got Inspire, which is three experience for Lady Gaga. Very cool. Now, a Ludacris. With Ludacris, I could come over here now and get the Sanctum of Haste, but I honestly, I want to give that over to Miley. Because she could definitely benefit from the full free heal anyway. So if I come after the Crow, we definitely get Miley into the fight. Let's do that. Whoa, Jesus. Random event. Um, you have found the desecrated church. Defeat the foul priests before it lets loose in the kingdom. Oh boy, that's not good. Level two. Yeah. So now that we found this, this is going to be kind of like a, a, a semi, like, I guess, mini boss in a sense. And if the chaos accumulates over and over, she will definitely start ruining the land in different type of ways. She'll either start destroying the sanctums or maybe start causing damage to the land, which is something we'll cover about later on down the line. So here we have the Dire Crow Swarm. Let's go for this one. We have three of them to deal with. It's not too bad. It's not too bad. That's bad. Got all three dice right there. 
Nah. Yeah. Right, it's alright, Miley, you'll heal up here pretty soon once we get you to that sanctum. Yeah, yeah, I understand the physical armor. Luckily for us, no physical, no resistance over here. So, we can get a one-hit kill, assuming Miley actually lands. I want to say if Miley gets to the Sanctum that we're heading to, she might also get a refocus back, but although I could be wrong about that. But you know what? Let's try to guarantee a kill. We got one kill down. Very good. Now, with Ludacris over here, you will not be able to get a one-hit kill, unfortunately. So, I guess we could probably just try to aim for three to everybody, and then we guarantee kills next time around on both of them, right? Let's also hit it with a focus. Got it. I'm not too worried about using focus with Ludacris, because he does have the refocus ability, so, you know, every round he will gain a little bit back. And we dodged twice, that's actually very lucky. Now, for us, it's time to just hit the three damage, and that should be the kill, and then... This dude over here, come on. There it is. Very good. Luckily, right now, we're having some pretty decent luck with the RNG dice rolls, so I'm quite happy about that. We have the Vision Scroll. Parts the clouds to reveal faraway lands and hidden mysteries. So, with this one, it'll probably just uh, reveal more of the Fog of War on the map here at the moment. Let's collect this here. Meanwhile, we also got a Golden Root. Using this herb will replenish some focus. Very useful for people like Gaga or Miley Cyrus. So let me just collect this here with Cyrus for now. Oh, no, no! Ugh, it was supposed to hit Collect, not Use. I always have that issue all the time. That's fine. It's not the end of the world. It would have been pretty good to have for later, but it's not the end of the world. Okay, so with Ludacris now, um, we have a town here. There's also... Ooh, there's a Stone of Hero here. It gives you 12 experience. Let's try to head towards that one with um, Ludacris over here. Oh, we have a Beastman in the way. I think we might be able to avoid him, though. Lady Gaga's next. All right. So with Gaga... Assuming this is a one-on-one -on -one fight, I feel very confident I could actually take this guy on. Let's give this a fight. It's a one-on-one. -on -one. He's got a shield, though, which is going to be a little bit annoying. Luckily, we were able to negate the damage on that one, because he missed. Um, alrighty, so... He's got four armor value because of that shield. So, in order for us to even get six, we have to land all three of these dice rolls here. We could also go with the Heavy Thrust, which is um, less of a chance to hit, but more physical damage. I think I feel confident with just going with this one. I won't focus for now, though. Oh, terrible dice roll. Okay. What do you got here? Oh, that's gonna hurt. Five? Eh, it's not too bad, I guess. Let's try this again. Gaga, you're busting my balls now. You're just literally busting my balls, Gaga. This guy's just taking, you know, pot shots at you now. And he's going again because he's also faster. Good dodge. Okay. We, we might have to focus here after all, it does seem. Let me use one focus. Three damage. Eh, should have probably just gone with the, um, the thrust one. He's going for a stun, and luckily he did miss. He's got to hit, like, all four of those to get a higher chance of stunning me. Uh, let's go with this one again. Come on. Okay. Little by little, it's getting done, though. What are you doing now? Another five. Oh, a crit. Oh. I'm regretting my decision after going after this fight now. I'm not going to use my last point. Come on. Oh, Jesus Christ. Work with me here, Gaga. He's going to go twice in a row now because he's faster than us. This is a terrible decision on my part. Terrible decision. Okay. We should technically get the kill here. Well, how was that about, um, you know, famous last words? Yeah, that's about to happen right now. Gaga, like, for real, you're gonna literally lose to this, like, scrub? He's a literal scrub, and you're losing to him. You know what? I'm gonna focus up for this one. Oh, yeah, now you get all six. Oh, fuck you, Gaga. God damn it. Look how much damage you just took right now. But we got a makeshift mace, which is another two-handed weapon, and it's also stronger than this, um, spear. And what's cool about this one, it also has a stun attack, which is actually very useful. So let me equip that one for now. We're gonna lose some armor, though, in the process, because the... Spear did give us armor, but there is that. Now, luckily for us, we're not too far away from Wood Smoke, so I could always come back over here to heal up. And you know what? I will be doing that, because I want to save my tents for later. Especially once we're away from towns. All right, with Miley Cyrus, we have five turns, so let's come down here and get ourselves this buff. The Sanctum of Haste we will devote. It's going to give us two action bonuses as well. And a straight-up full heal. Oh, I think it did give us back our... Oh, no, no, no. I used the, the herb on her by mistake. All right, so we got the plus two to action bonus now, and we still have two more turns. I'm going to come with... Oh, damn it, Timberwolf. I was going to say, I'm going to follow Ludacris so that um, Luda could get that Sanctum over there and um, have a little bit of backup. But now we're in a one-on-one -on -one scenario with a Timberwolf here. It's not really the end of the world, but um, kind of sucks here. Let me use one focus point. I don't want a repetition of that fight against that beast man that we just had right now. Oh, come on, Cyrus. I just fully healed you. Look at this shit. 
That won't be enough for the kill. Oh, good God. What are you, what are you doing? You drained the focus from me? He drained the focus, what a jerk. Oh. And this is where I mentioned where RNG comes into play, as you can see. So far, we were doing really great. Oh, luckily, we got the Golden Root back. Um, let's store it for now. We got a second chance at it. We might have to use it because, you know, we were down to, like, one focus now. But this is where I mentioned how the RNG comes into play. We were having a good luck thus far, and then suddenly, you know, we had a terrible time against that Beastman and this Wolf over here did a number on us as well. So now with Ludacris, if I come after the Beastman, I'll get Miley into this fight. I'm still very, like, you know, committed to the idea of getting the Sanctum for Ludacris here. So let's go into this fight here. Oh, we also drew the plant. Now, let me be honest with you, I've never fought the plant before. So this kind of worries me quite a bit. He's got 20 HP. Um, let's see. Apparently, I can't stun him either. And I can't bleed him out. Oh, boy. This is more than I really honestly bargained for. This is a lot more than I bargained for. Oh, shit, man. We have to go after the Beastman, though. We have to bring down the guy with the lowest HP first. The problem is, I don't think Ludacris will be enough to do, like, we can't go, like, one and one and kill him in one single round. We have to take, like, three attacks to bring him down, I'm pretty sure. I could try to go for the stun. Ugh. Oh. Miley, how do you feel about the stun? Let's focus for the stun. Oh, thank God we got it. So he's going to be down for at least an extra turn, which should be enough for us to bring him down before he actually gets a chance. Now, this bad boy over here, he is going to be taking pot shots at us. So now, if I do three, no, it's too risky, I'm going to say. It's de definitely too risky. Let's just go with the focus here. Alrighty. Next turn, we should bring him down with Miley, assuming we get all our attacks in. Plant, what are you doing? Six damage. Not really too crazy about that. Alright, it's back over to Ludacris here. We could do up to five, he's got four. We got Encourage! Didn't help out. Luckily, I do believe our next turn is with Miley. Yeah, so this should be the kill. We lucked out here a little bit. But we still have this giant plan to deal with now, so I'm kind of worried. Oh, what? Poison? Is that group poison? Did you did you fail or what? Nobody's poisoned, so I'm not sure what the hell that caused. But it looked, it looked like poison to me. Um, alrighty. So, who's next right now? We have... Ludicrous here. Well, let's focus up. We got an encourage as well. 15. Yeah, I'm not sure about that poison. It's kind of weird. Uh, Miley, you are going to just go for regular damage. Perfect. Nice, nice, nice. Oh, we got two turns coming up. All right, we should be able to get the kill. I'm assuming we get some good rolls here. Oh, oh, Ludicrous, please help me out, dog. Luda, please. Help me out. Get an encourage. We got an encourage. Yes! Ho 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 ho! That's what I mentioned about this game. It's so fun because it's very like RNG dependent, so sometimes you get really into it just like that. But we got a Traveler's Tonic out of it, which is actually pretty cool. Um, armor, resistance, and evasion plus five. I feel like we should probably give that to. Oh, and we leveled up, so we got our HP back. Oh, that worked out so splendidly. Uh, let me equip that over to. I'm gonna say Miley. And we also have a Dancing Nettle, which is gonna give us more action points during combat. Let's collect that with Ludacris, and that'll be it. Okay, very good. We got two levels on Ludacris and Miley as well. And we got rid of that plant. The Bison Tour is still there, but I think he shouldn't really come after us, I hope, right? So... <laughs> you stay over there, Bison Tar. Don't come after me, dude. And it's Lady Gaga's turn. Alrighty, and I believe we're out of time here for this one, guys. So I hope you enjoyed it. As I mentioned, I'm going to do at least one more video on this because I would like to get to the Glittering Caves to show that off. Um, and I I don't mind keeping this around on the channel, so if you enjoy it, let me know in the comments. Let me know by leaving a like. And if you do enjoy it, I'll keep it around and we'll play some more of this going forward. Really fun. I'll be a tough game. But I hope you guys are having uh, fun with this one, watching it. And um, all the information for it will be down below. I will catch you next time.